I am back in my favorite place, going back to being my best self in the gym. I'm nervous, excited, because I haven't been in the gym in forever, and I've been trying to do little things, but I miss the machines. I got this stupid vaccine, so I'm going to take advantage and be in the gym as often as I can. And y'all gonna see my world transformation is better. She got here to the car. She's glad to be gone. <laughs> but I'm just doing me for right now. Today I'm starting slow. And I think I'll do the treadmill. I didn't really set out. I just told myself I would be here. Because I got the membership and I don't want to waste it. I want to do my business and um, live my best life. I'm feeling kind of down today, but I'm going to elevate that. And, um... Do what I do. Put the stuff inside of the locker and I'm on my way. I made a promise to myself and my sensei. I'm gonna do this. I didn't think I was gonna, I didn't think I was gonna come today. I was really discouraged. I told myself, go. Just do a little bit. Start slow. It's been a long time since I've been in the gym. I'm getting a lot of weight. I'm not proud of it. Kind of made me depressed. Didn't want to take that shot, took that shot. So I didn't work. And I said, let me go take advantage of this gym situation, see what's going on. And it turns out that they give me the membership for free for a year. So I said, okay, let me get rid of some of this fat and get motivated. Because that picture I saw of me three years ago was like, damn. I done fell off a little bit. But I'm thick. I'm thick. Now I'm like, damn, she thick. But that stomach gotta get going. Legs thick, thighs thick, ass thick. Everything thick. Stomach fat. And I don't like that. And um, three years ago, I was on it. I was on it. I was, of course, I was about to go um, raw vegan. And I was winning championships, you know. First place in my fight, first place in my kata, first place in my weapons. And uh, after being depressed, becoming depressed for a while, I lost my motivation, lost my chi. And this pandemic got me down, way down. Started gaining all that weight. I went from damn near 300 pounds to 100 and 140 something pounds, right? And then, in this pandemic, I don't even know how much I weigh. I'm scared to weigh myself, honestly. But if I find a skill today, I'll try. I'll, I'll check it out. But the point is, uh, let me start in back on something. Anything. Take your time. Start by slow, don't try to do it back fast like how you used to because you might hurt yourself. And in the long run, slower and longer last longer. So I decided I'm gonna just do a little bit today. I'm not gonna run, I'll walk. I'll start walking slow and a little bit faster. I did my stretching, I didn't take a picture of that, I didn't film that, but I did my, I did my stretching, and I did my stretching. And I was like, "Oh my God, I'm out of fit. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Wow." And so I said, "You know what? We need a whole stretching class because everything hurt, right?" I gotta go back to my yoga. I'm going through that too. I was like, before I stopped doing yoga. I was on my handstands and stuff. I never took a picture of it because I was embarrassed, thinking that I wasn't in shape enough. 
But looking at this picture back from three years ago, I was on it. I just didn't give myself enough credit. I was too down on myself. You know, when you got low self-esteem, shit catches up. And you don't think you're good enough. I was doing handstands and, and handstand splits, thinking I wasn't good enough, thinking my stomach wasn't flat enough. But now I look at it and I expand it. My body expanded, my stomach expanded. And I'm like, hell yeah, I was good enough. What the hell possessed me to think that I wasn't, right? That was internal and external. You know, you gotta clean out the hard drive. You gotta renew the software, update the software. Get new gear if you have to. Work with the old gear. Redo them ballet slippers. You know what I'm saying? Stretch those. Stretch it out. Tighten it up. It takes some time. But that's okay. I got nothing but time. I'm not going to rush myself this time. I'm not going to be so hard on myself like I used to be. But I am going to remain determined. That's why I came out today. I had to keep my promise to myself and keep my promise to my sensei that I would get back my chi. Yeah. See, every time I'm down, or every time I feel broken, I put myself back together. I burn, I die, and from the ashes I rise. That's what it is. Getting told that you ain't shit. It's not a good feeling. And then it being drilled into you is even worse. You start believing. But then you remember. I am the shit. Who the fuck are you? And that's what it is. Come on. I know three languages. I speak three languages. Spanish. Hola. English. What up? And French. Also. <laughs> I was learning. I was learning other languages. Like Portuguese. I can read in Portuguese. I can read in Italian. I can read in French. Shoot at you actors like movie directors. That's from that movie. Anyway, my life is mine. This is my story. And I can hit that reset button anytime. They say life is a game. I'm hitting replay, restart, do over. This is me. And there's only one of me. So I gotta be me and be free and do me and start over. You could fall down, but get back up. Fall down five times, get back up six. Fall down six times, get back up seven. I choose to get up. I don't care how many times I fall. I'm gonna get up. And I'm gonna take my time. And that's what it is. And I'm gonna do it slow. I'm gonna get up. I might get up slow, but I'm gonna get up. I'll never be knocked out. And if I am knocked out, I'll get back up again still. That's it. Ain't nobody asked nothing else from me. I can't even ask nothing more from myself except to get back up and try again. That's what I'm going to do. Lose this weight. Get back on my goals. Learn new languages. Be an asset. And not a lot of not a liability to my health. That's what it is. I love you all. What would I? I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. If you have a dream, don't just sit there.
Well, I'm all done with my workout. I got here, started my work. I got here in the gym at 12, <laughs> And it is now almost three o'clock. So I think I, I will label that a success. I would, because I only intended to be here an hour or less. Now, I'm going to wash my hair. <laughs>